Hi, I'm Joe Walling with Dump Truck Dispatcher. This will be a detailed training video showing you how to use the driver app. I'm assuming that you have installed the driver app to your phone and have a shortcut on your home screen. If not, please stop this video and install the driver app in accordance with those instructions found in a separate video or document. You will start the day by opening the driver app from your home screen as shown here. You'll need to enter your login information to use the application. This will be provided to you by someone in your organization. Set to tenant by pressing the change link and entering the tenant name provided to you and press save. Then enter your username and password and press the login button. Once the app is open, you should see when you work next and your first dispatch of the day if you have any assigned for the day. If you have a dispatch assigned, you can acknowledge it by clicking the Acknowledge button. This lets the dispatcher know that you are aware of the dispatch. Once you acknowledge the dispatch, you'll see the load screen. If you don't see the Add Ticket button, don't worry. It's probably configured so that you can use a simplified process. In a simplified process, you will need to click the buttons, but you don't have to worry about entering the ticket information or getting signatures. Notice how the Add Ticket and the Loaded buttons are disabled. They won't be enabled until you are clocked in. Prior to starting work on a dispatch, you should clock in by clicking the Clock In button. Once you clock in, you'll see the timer increment and you'll see that the Load button is enabled. If you find that you can't mark a dispatch as loaded, it is likely that you forgot to click in. When you get to the scale and get your ticket information, Click the Add Ticket button and add the ticket number and quantity. If you are supposed to take a picture of the ticket, click on the picture of a camera. Click the Choose File button and you'll be able to take a picture of the ticket. After taking the picture, click on OK to accept the photo. Be sure that the photo is clear before you click on OK. Otherwise, you should click on Retry and take another picture until it is clear. Once the picture is OK and you've clicked the OK link, you'll see the file chooser shown here and it will have a file name filled in. Click the Save button. Now you'll see that there's a message telling you that a photo is selected. However, it doesn't get uploaded until after you click the Save button. After you've clicked Save, click the Loaded button. Once you've clicked the Loaded button, you'll see the Delivery screen. This is telling you how to get to where you're going to dump. If you don't know how to get to the delivery location, you can click the link to the right of the Deliver To area. This will display your mapping software. Now, depending on whether you're using iOS and Android, it may look a little different than what you see here. This is the Android version. And here I'd click on Directions to have it create my route for me and show me how to get to my location. Clicking the X at the top will close the map and bring you back to the delivery screen. After you have driven to the destination and delivered your load, you'll get a signature if one is required. Each company and customer have different requirements related to signatures, so make sure you know what yours are. Clicking the signature button will open a screen that has a place for the contact's name and signature. Upon completion, press the save button. Next, click the delivered button. If this is a multi-load dispatch, you'll be repeating this load slash dump process multiple times throughout the day until you're told to stop or the dispatcher sets the order to complete. If the dispatcher hasn't changed the status of the dispatch, you'll see a pop-up message asking if you want to continue. Typically, you'll press yes. The only time you should press no is if the customer tells you he's ending the job for the day. If you click no and have no other dispatches scheduled, the app will tell you that you have no dispatches scheduled. At this point, you should check with your dispatcher to see what other work there might be for you before you head back to the yard. When you're done for the day, or if you're supposed to clock out for lunch, press the clock out button. Hopefully, this gives you all the information you need to be able to work the dispatcher app or the driver application. But if you have any questions, be sure to reach out for help.